right. You're sitting in your living room right now. Take a look at those arms. Do they wiggle a little too much for you? Do you wish you had a little bit more tone? Well, weightlifting can help. That's right. Here to get us moving and shape up with the weights the right way, we have the chicks in training, Rebecca Hopkins and Tish Gulick. Guys, Hello. thanks yeah, for thanks coming for in. Well, and you know, it's interesting because as soon as people see hear weightlifting, right, they turn off, but they shouldn't. Absolutely, especially women because yeah. You know, weight-bearing exercise is the number one prevention against osteoporosis. So there are so many benefits um, to weight-bearing exercise, to lifting weights. There's so many different ways you can do it, um, weighted balls, kettlebells. We like to train in different cycles and use new things. And right now in our current camp, we're using a weighted bar for our ladies. And so Tish has five pounds, you have ten. We're going to do a few little... Uh, weightlifting moves here in just a few minutes okay. but the, the big thing is don't be afraid like women aren't going to be you know the incredible hulk by friday if you start on monday so it's a misnomer and it's really important to add this into your routine well and it's good to see a little shape right yeah. i mean you don't want to be like one arm width all the way down Absolutely. right you want to see a little muscle right? Nice, that says healthy right nice toned arm um, yeah. and also you know you yeah, show off it. your arm well you know i, yeah, I right? like to lift a little weight but okay. the, the beautiful thing too is you know it it helps your joint structures your connective tissue there's so many benefits it. So um, adding it in is, is a wonderful thing. And that's what we're going to do today. So okay. it's important to, um, I'm going to scoot over because you're going to okay. do a little follow the leader. So Joe and I will stand over here. I'll, do, I'll try not to the pluck, crack people. Okay, there you go. So you have a little bend in your knee. Tish is going to, you're just going to follow the leader. She's going to do a simple upright row. And what okay. you're going to do is she's got, you're just going to start lifting it up. Go right okay. ahead. So, so do exactly what I she's doing. I have one doing. foot in front of the other, but you can, shant, you can stand shoulder distance apart as long as you have a bend in your knee so that you protect your lower back. So I'm leading with my elbows. I is it exhale. thinking that if the weight is too heavy that my back, uh, or if I lock my back in Absolutely. Little, oh. So, you know, when you think about, you watch somebody at the gym, if I'm, if I'm like, oh, I like her arms, I'm going to do that. You might really consider like, okay, I might not be wanting to lift what she's lifting. Start slow and build up because that's how people can get injured. So How, how paying, low of weights do they make? Well, it just, I think it starts at three pounds at the gym, you know, or you sit down on a machine and somebody's got like a hundred pounds on a leg press and you're like, I'm going to try it. And then you're like, ah, so it's important to pay attention to listen to your body. Okay. So next we're going to do a compound move. So you're you doing two move over there by... Yeah. There you go. I'm going to go we're on gonna, this side. We're going to yeah. move. We're going to move. Oh, yeah. So you're, I don't you're know if I can stand out of the way. You're working lower body and upper body at the same time. So now you're combining two moves in one. Go okay. right ahead. We're going to lunge right, press, and together. Lunge left. Press so you're working your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings. Yeah, I feel your that. Your core is nice and tight. <laughs> your shoulders should feel it. Now your hold it right body. here and press. Press. Oh, there you go. All press. right, how's that feel? Wow, I bet it burns. Yeah, let's keep going. Aren't you so glad you gave him the weighted bar? I got the iPad. This is very important. All right, so the how many? Right, four. There you go. Three. You got it. Two. Actually, it is. And yeah. together. And, how, and it's fun when you do it in a group, too. Uh, like that's, that's part of one of the things that you guys focus on. We absolutely. do. And so everybody just kind of listens to their own body. We always show a modification. Um, and then we just keep, you know, increasing the weight as they, need, as they see fit. Because it's important to know your goal. If you're wanting to build muscle, then you need to have a heavier weight. If you want to do muscular endurance, then you have a lighter weight. So now we're going to do a wild card. So now Tish gets to pick. Look <laughs> at right. Tish. She's right. like, yeah, I want to do it. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So... <laughs> Uh, change your grip so your palms are up. I have Which is something too. We'll take it take a quick second. Like if you grab the bar like this, that works different muscles, right? Then if you grab sure. the bar and, like this. And, and Matt, one of the things with women too, they want to feel comfortable. I think they don't feel comfortable, you know, they see people if they're just learning. Um, that it's okay to stop, take this off, and change weights. Like, you know, say you so know, if this was too heavy, right, I can go down a weight. Sure. Absolutely. Take their time that everybody's different because we have, you know, 23 women in camp. So, you know, everyone's different. Some are just starting out so that they feel comfortable. Oh, okay. I can just drop it. It's all right. Yeah. So, all right. Palms up. <laughs> okay. okay. Shoulder distance apart. Okay. So, um, just let it hang. And we're just going to bicep curl just like this. Oh, so nice. So, down and up. So, we just hinge there at the elbow, but we can make it a lot more fun. So let's just do four. <laughs> her definition three, of fun and mine are a little bit different. I like, I like her definition. See, she's got and four range of motion. One. Okay. I'm going to bring it down and keep my head above my heart. You're going to bring it down too. Then we're going to pop back oh, into a position. That's the fun. Okay, here's she's now we're going to do just like this. So my wrists are underneath <laughs> my shoulders. Here we go. Thank you, my Am friend. Am I getting hazard paper? Thank you, this? my friend. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Four, three, Two, oh, one, hold wow. it for oh. four. Don't do oh. it. There you go. Come that on, Matt. Come on oh, now. I really want to see a shot of Matt right now. Yeah, there we one, go. hop it in, hop it up, 
We repeat that move. Good. Okay, so, so we could do free weights. What's the difference when you use a bar? It just, it changes your form, basically. Okay. So, you know, it's a little more, for me, I can feel it a little more because you're, the extension is a full extension. You can get that with the free weights, but sometimes women tend to swing. It changes the way you hold your elbow, keeping it nice and tight. So it's just a, a, a really just a variety. And these kinds of exercises don't kill you, but it does challenge you, and yes. that's what's that's so important. And right. we want to empower women. We don't want them to be afraid. Like you yeah. can do it, and yeah. it's fun. We even dance with the bar without the weights, of course. <laughs> well, and you guys are you guys are going to get moving with the turkey trot. Yes. You want to yes. tell us about that mm -hmm. real quick? Yep, it's our tenth annual turkey trot. So we started in the back hills of Camargo, which is an overpass, and 10 years ago. And each year we have a mission, and this year's mission is for Be Brave. A dear friend of ours who is a chicks, she's been chicks with us for years, um, lost her son. So it's in um, honor of Jordan Petey Scribner, and it's just to raise awareness for drug awareness. So we're going to have a great time, get out there, have fun, and uh, love and support a great cause. We love the chicks in training, and when they come in and kick our butts, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. We appreciate. Well, I you. like when they kick your butt, yeah. <laughs> and I get to stand by. You'll you'll do it during the break, right, Joe? Yeah, I'll work on that. <laughs> hey.